Hi kitty cats! When I published my original video describing how all women benefit from my gender-affirming surgery, at least according to conservative rhetoric, I received much more hate than I expected from conservative people. The focus of the hate was that women in restrooms couldn't see my genitalia before the surgery, and they certainly can't see it now. Which was precisely the point I was trying to make long before, but that I still feel relief for all the wives and daughters who supposedly require protection against the likes of me, because now they have incontrovertible protection. In fact, in response to the hate, I suggested that males who are truly serious about protecting women in restrooms should do exactly as I have. Just excise the offending parts and problem solved. When there is no tool to do harm, no harm can be perpetrated. And that's not a guess. I am now physically incapable of assaulting another woman in a restroom. And the true believers out there should happily jump on board to prove they care for the lives and safety of their wives and daughters. But the underlying current of this hate was once a male, always a male. That is, the danger I presented before had nothing to do with whether I would or could assault women in a restroom. The danger I presented, and apparently still present, comes from the sex I was assigned at birth. Males, they said, are inherently dangerous, with an inborn, probably genetic, proclivity for harming women in restrooms, who require constant vigilance and shielding from the ever-present threat of masculine assault. Now, I find this line of thought fascinating. Absolutely contradictory, no doubt, but fascinating. It reminds me of a slogan the National Rifle Association used back in the 1980s, that guns don't kill people, people kill people. In this case, however, conservative rhetoric has turned their beloved slogan around, because apparently people don't assault women in restrooms, externally presenting XY genotypes assault women in restrooms. According to this maxim, my exhortation that the real problem is a society so willing to commit violence that people assault people is wrong, no matter who you are. If you are an externally presenting XY genotype, you will commit violence. Even if you're an upstanding member of the community, a civic leader, a priest, you can't help it, it's bred into you. Now what this means for humans with an androgen insensitivity syndrome who developed female reproductive parts with an XY genotype, I don't know, but the world, according to conservative rhetoric, will never be safe with all of those penises floating about out there. So those of you without external presentation of an XY genotype, I beseech you, rise up and exterminate this blot on humanity. According to conservative rhetoric, it's the only way for the human species to survive. Talk soon. Bye.